Hey everybody, welcome back to another Anime and Beyond episode reaction and review. I'm Noah. I'm Devin. And today it's Haikyuu Season 4 Episode 9. Before we get into that, if you haven't followed us on social media yet, please go ahead and do that. We've been posting a couple of TikToks recently, so yeah. if you're addicted to that app or yeah, if, you, if, if you're, you're bold enough to download that app. Yeah, if you want to check us out, we got some stuff. We got some stuff coming up too, mm -hmm. so check us out. And uh, absolutely, yeah. we're going to get right into it. Without further ado... Let's see what happens. Yes, sir. That's his Dude, alarm. That would be such an annoying alarm. Hey. <laughs> Spring tournament. Is that today? Hey. I was getting. I was about to bust a freestyle right there. You do it. What? Wait, did he oversleep or something? Or what? Is he a day late? Oh, it's a nightmare. It has to be a nightmare. Yeah. Yeah, this is a nightmare. <laughs> it's actually kind of sad. Who are you talking about? Okay, for, the only thing it would be to, to be even worse is like you forgot your clothes. Yeah. You know, the classic. Hey, Inception right there. That was Inception. But that's so true though. Sometimes you hear your alarm in your dream. Yeah. That's weird. Hey. There's nothing wrong with that. Early bird gets the worm. All the old men. They were all there first. Looking like a bunch of dads already. Except the one with the gray hair. He looks like a kid. Are they all dating her? Assignment. <laughs> Maybe that'd be a way to relationship. No, I'm just kidding. Wow. <laughs> you know, I did hear that about Japan. Like they believe in like luck and stuff. Good fortune. That's what it is. Mm. That's the first time I've seen a uh, anime jogging like that. <laughs> Turn down. <laughs> yeah, don't get worked up, bro. That'd be funny if they played a prank on him. That would be. Yeah, use that to your advantage. I just, want yeah. the, I just want them to come up already. I just want that tournament to be here. Look at that ball. That's nasty, though. Having it on your bed? Is that dirty? T tells you about Hinata. Probably, he probably don't even take showers. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Now you're really getting into his personal life. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Right, leave, him, leave him alone. I'm just kidding. I feel like there's a song that goes perfectly with this. The small town kids mm -hmm. going to a big, big open world. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> man, the cameraman on this. He, he's no, almost seriously. like he's on the court. Dang, they have a highlight reel. That's pretty cool. I'm going to be scouting them for the Olympics. He's always got some excuse. <laughs> Found him a bike. I mean, if I was watching those, I'd, it would make me want to go run too. Cause I'd be like, dude, I'm pumped. Let's go. Let's do some. One of them had sleep paralysis. This is what I've been waiting for. Oh, the guys and the girls are playing in the same... Same building, that's cool. Oh no. <laughs> He's embracing it. Oh boy. Just like that. Oh yeah, that Bro, guy. He would hate the, the coronavirus. Yeah, he would. He wouldn't even show up to the gym. He'd probably be in Arctic and Arctica. Hey, Bokuto! <laughs> His number two pupil. Dude, I hate opening ceremonies. Yeah, it is too. Dang, it's gonna end before we even yep. see anything. That's why I hate them. They're just not, a, a tease. It's nothing but a tease. You think it's starting, but it's not. Let's see if all their hard work gonna pay off. Probably in the next episode, though. Yeah, they're all in rhythm. Well, wow, is this is this the Olympics? No, or is this is a national. This is a tournament. Yeah. Okay. I can't remember if they did this on. Quick on a basketball, but they do it on Ace of the Diamond too. They mm. have a opening ceremony. Wow, that looks cool though. There's a lot of people, all the different school colors. So in this episode, you see everyone having their nerve, getting their nerves mm -hmm. with the tournament coming up and everything. And so they're trying to, in one sense, try to get their minds off it. You know, you saw Hinata in the game, 
playing, I guess it was like a type of, it was like a tennis, I forgot. Like bag Ra- racket, was it racquetball? Something, something yeah. like that. We saw the captain get nervous and like Hinata and them, the gang, they were playing racquetball. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking they were trying to get their minds off, you know, their nervousness and just the game itself. But what I like about it, this episode is just them meeting the new, the people that they haven't seen in a while. Mm-hmm. Cause I, I played football before and I know what that's like. That's pretty cool. Reuniting with all the people that you have, probably haven't seen in, in, a, in a while. And then also I'm kind of looking forward to seeing like how everyone's kind of grown in oh, yeah. like separate ways. And just like how people would just compete with one another and, and their improved abilities and stuff. Yeah, because it's been like half a year at this half, point. I yeah, think. half a year. I can totally relate to how Daichi was feeling and being all stressed out, having a nightmare that, you know, a volleyball team doesn't even exist anymore. And it's just like the nervousness that comes with that long wait after that last tournament ended to this tournament. Mm-hmm. And even you see the players, like the night before, they're all nervous about this, just the ceremony too. Mm-hmm. And it was kind of cool to see how this episode was more of a slice of life episode where we're seeing them outside of the gym, like mm-hmm. how they how they handle their situations. Asahi's still the same. Suga is still as calm as ever and it was kind of cool to see you know third year just all spend time together but then yet Hinata is trying to reach out to Kageyama and he's like no no after the two camps that they had that Kageyama went to Tsukushima and then Hinata broke into are we going to be able to see the skills they've learned and that we kind of saw in the last game with Daytech are we going to see those more complete in this tournament yeah I would like to say Yes. Mm-hmm. I mean, that, that's one thing I'm looking forward to, especially. Um, I would say yes, and especially because I know during this time they've been anxious in, in, in what this tournament comes, and so they're not just going to sit around and just be like, you know, waste their skills, waste what they've been working on this whole time. You know, you'd think that they'd be working on it. So I, I think that you should see, if not perfected, a lot better. Yeah. A lot better for sure. And I think it'll, I think it'll show, because like Nishinoya, like I want to see, I mean, his rolling thunder technique. Mm-hmm. I want to I want to see that more. Like I want to see how Kageyama starts reading people more, mm-hmm. and how more of a threat Hinata can be. You know, as he, want, as, he, as, he, as his hops. You know what I'm saying? Yes, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. They teased it in that one episode, and they it, never brought it back. Yeah. If Hinata does not jump higher, I want to be disappointed. Bro. But I'm ex- when he does, when he does though, Bro. that power like th- make me. L- like Mike type hops, like Spud Webb. Y'all know who Spud Webb is? Y'all don't know who Spud Webb is. <laughs> hey, not to, he's, he's stuck with Spud Webb. In this next episode, we see eight teams playing. So it looks like there's gonna be four games going on at the same time. There's a lot of teams playing. Mm-hmm. So I'm interested to seeing how that's gonna play out. There's a, we see the crowd there. We don't know how many people are there for each team or you know what. So oddly, I'm interested in seeing the crowd's reaction um, because I think that I mean, I've always heard said, like, especially in football, like the crowd can somehow have like an advantage. Mm-hmm. You can have, it's like, you know, you've heard of home field oh, yeah. advantage. Like, I think that 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 can happen, and I'm interested to see how that might play out. And then one last thing is, from episode one of High of season one, he not just, that's where he first saw the little giant play in this stadium. So, oh. I mean, he was nervous. But he has the right to be. This is what, like, this has been kind of his goal. Like, this is where he gets to shine if he plays like a little giant. Like, yeah. he's going to be very disappointed if he doesn't play well. Yeah, I want to see them hops. Mm-hmm. I really do want to see them hops. Yeah. See them come out. Thank y'all for watching and supporting our channel. Don't forget to check out our social media accounts. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Let us know what you think about this episode, reaction, and review. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. We've been posting a lot on there recently. Devin's been streaming a lot on Twitch. If you like us, please don't forget to follow our friends on their YouTube channels as well. We have Jay Frizzle, Clammy, and Bloxton for gaming, and they're also streaming on Twitch. Jay Frizzle is actually streaming right now. Rich Aladdin for short films, and Teray Today for vlogs. That said, I'm Devin. I'm Noah. And we'll see y'all next time. Peace. Peace.